So first, I'm just starting off by making a side part where I want her part to be. And I just braid two small plaits as her leave out. And I don't leave a lot of leave out at all. You do not need a lot of leave out, out at all. Because it just, it just causes a lot of breakage and you just need enough just to cover her tracks. And I use the Pink Lusters Moisturizer. And I highly recommend you moisturize the person's hair because, you know, it just pre prevent breakage and it just, like, why not? Like, you need moisturized hair. And depending on the texture of the hair, um, her, well, for her hair, I braided her hair up in four plaits. And if the hair is thicker, you might need to do more braids. But just make sure that it's just flat enough to the point where it will just lay down. Because you do not want bulky braids underneath the you know underneath the weave you know that would not be a pretty look at all <laughs> and she is so silly y'all i swear i love her <laughs> so then i'm just going to start taking the spritz and i'm going to start putting that all over her hair and i'm going to be taking a blow dryer and just dry, blow drying it and i'm going to do that three times just to make sure that the hair is just hard and molded and then I'm going to be taking a black stocking cap and I'm going to be putting that over her hair and then I'm going to be taking the 30 seconds glue and putting that all around the perimeter and I do this just to prevent the cap from coming up along the long run because it will lift in the back and then I'm just going to be taking that spritz again in the blow dryer and I'm just going to be blowing that again three times. And the hair that I highly recommend for quick weaves is Empire. Um, it just lasts a long time. It's very affordable. And you can get it from any of your local beauty supply near you. And as far as in me laying the tracks, I start by just laying it where her hair starts on each side. And I press firmly down to make sure that it is sticking and it's intact. Because you do not want the tracks slipping. And sometimes each track I would use a blow dryer right behind it to make sure that it's a blow dry all the way. And then you're just going to be seeing me do this all the way until we get to the top. And yeah. And this part was so cute, y'all. I swear, in her, in the middle of her hair appointment, her boyfriend ended up popping up with flowers to give her, and it just was so cute. Like it was so adorable. Like I could not. Like that just was so cute to me. <laughs> and then right here, you just see me blow drying her hair to make sure that everything is dry and intact. and now you just see me cutting off the stocking cap and make sure you're being very careful while you're cutting make sure you don't cut their hair and make sure you just don't cut just nothing just don't cut nothing else but the stocking cap <laughs> And be careful, you guys. Okay, so now it's time for the cutting process. And for the cuts, I like to start in the back and make sure the client holds their head down so you can get all the hairs underneath that needs to be cut. And if you guys need a more detailed video on how to actually cut the hair using scissors, I will make a whole separate video mainly just based off on how you cut a bob or a blunt cut just in general. Because this video I really didn't like actually go close up to actually show y'all on how I do it. I should have but I just didn't. I just was afraid of the video being too long. And then when we get to this side, you want to start cutting in a slanted, in a slanted way. But like I said, I will show, I will just make a whole separate video on how I do it because 
yeah, you can't really see it in this one. So now I'm just sectioning off her hair, preparing it for the flat iron process. And I don't know where I got these flat irons from. My auntie bought them for me. I can ask her, but they say Martino on them. And if I can find them, I can put them down in the description box so y'all can find them. And they work really good. I love them. They get hot so fast. And they, they are control setting. You can control the heat and everything. Like, it's perfect, y'all. And I know y'all probably wondering, like, why do this girl got a whole onesie on? I just was, okay, listen, I was just comfortable. I was at my house, you know, and I just didn't feel like putting on some other clothes just for the sake of this video. Like, just accept the fact that I'm comfortable, okay, and that's all that matters. <laughs> now let's just take the time to admire this cut y'all like look at this cut like this is flawless like look how good that cut is like look how sharp it is thumbs up if you like it so far okay Do thumbs up if you're enjoying this video Yes, yes. Hey. Okay, so now it's come to my favorite, favorite part of the whole process, the blending part. And you can use a flat iron or you can use a pressing comb, whichever one you prefer. And yes, she is natural. So I tend to go in with a pressing comb and a flat iron just to make sure that everything is just nice and straight and silk and pressed out. Invincible. can see her leave out ended up being a little bit longer than the actual weave and she totally did not mind me cutting off her like the rest like it really wasn't even a lot it was just her ends but she did not mind me cutting it because I just know somebody in the comments going to point that out and I just no she was totally fine with it she did not mind it at all she did not have no type of problem with it it was perfectly fine just look how that is easily blended just look at that look at So then I like to flat iron her natural hair 
with a piece of the weave just to make sure that everything is really nice and blended. So the edge wax that I'm going to be using is the Mur Murray's Beeswax and I like to melt it before I apply it on my client's hair and it just makes it more smoother to apply and it just makes everything that looks much cleaner. I just love how the results come out and I prefer to use a ragtail comb with the metal piece on the end and it just makes everything come out really sharp and precise and it makes sure that you get every single strand of hair. Like, I love them so much. And by the way, you guys, you can design your edges the way that you want them. This is just the way that I like to do mine. I also switch it up. I don't always design my edges like this. You will see that in like a whole nother video. And this is the finished look, you guys. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Follow my Instagram. I'm going to link everything down in the description box below. And if y'all want to see any more Pacific videos that y'all really want to see or any topics that y'all want me to talk about, just let me know in the comments. And happy new year, guys. Happy new year. Pursue your dreams. Make sure that you accomplish all your goals this year. Let this year be your year. Because this is a new journey for me. This whole YouTube thing, guys. And don't forget, I'm going to link all the products that I use in the description box below as well. Along with my social media and everything, y'all. So, just thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for my next video.